Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Will Dillingham and I am an application engineer at Inertia Labs. Today I am at our testing facility and I have with me our inertial navigation system. We're going to do a little unboxing video so that you know what to expect when you receive your unit. Now when you get your unit and you open the box, the first thing that you are going to notice is a USB flash drive. This is going to contain the documentation for the unit as well as the graphical user interface and a parameter file, a power cable, some RS-232 to USB converters, or they may be RS-422 depending on the interfacing choice for your unit. Next you will notice the multi-port development kit. This is used to not only power the unit itself, but also for interfacing with a host computer. And finally, the last thing that you're going to notice is the inertial navigation system itself. Now at this point, when you're ready to begin using your device, you're going to want to start by taking the USB flash drive and go ahead and connect it to your host computer. You're going to use this flash drive when accessing the GUI itself to interface with the unit. The next thing that I'm going to do is take the multi-port development kit and plug this end into my device. Now notice since I am inside, I am not going to be utilizing the antenna ports, but for future reference, these are the antennas. You have your primary antenna up top and your secondary antenna down below. The next thing that I'm going to do is take my power cable, unravel that, take this end and plug it into a wall port, and the alternate end will plug into the multi-port development kit like so. The next thing that I'm going to do is take the RS-232 to USB converter and connect this to COM1. This is the main COM port for the device. And if you have a 232 unit, as this device is, you will connect it to the top port right here as so. And then we are also going to plug this into our host computer. Now once you have finished connecting to the device, you're going to want to go to your file explorer on your host computer and make your way to the root folder where the graphical user interface is held. From there, go ahead and open the GUI and make your way to the test options menu. From there, right next to serial port, you're going to want to select the COM port that the host computer has assigned to the device. And next to baud rate, you're going to click auto. This will automatically detect the baud rate for the unit. I'm not going to mess with any of the other settings for this video. I just want to get you started, so I'm going to click OK. Make my way to INS Visualization, at which point I will hit the Start button. And we will wait for the initial alignment to complete. At this point, you can see on the right-hand side that I am outputting in real time orientation, sensor data, as well as other information. And on the left hand side, we do have that visual interpretation of the device. Once I am done here, I can make my way over to the left hand side and hit stop. And once I have finished using the graphical user interface, make my way to file and exit.